This next Q&A video is about video card coolers. What's the best kind of video card cooler to have? Maybe you're looking for a video card right now. And it's confusing because you're going from one brand to another brand. You're comparing them spec-wise. They're pretty much the same except maybe one has a so-called better cooler and it's a bit more expensive than the other one. Before I demystify this, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. If you have a question for me, post it in the forum on the site. And remember, we're always giving away something. If you want to enter, head on over to 3dgameman.com and click on the giveaway link that's at the top right-hand corner of the site. So, video card coolers. What's the best? Well, the best would be traditional water cooling with a video card water block. That would be the best. You can also not only cool the core, you can cool the memory as well. That's pretty hardcore, but that is the best. And most people don't want to get involved in that at all. The next best option, in my opinion, is a blower style fan on a video card because it will suck in cool air, it will blow that cool air across the mini fins that's on the video card heatsink, and then it will port all that hot air out of the case, directly out of the case. Get it out of the case as quick as you can. That's the good thing about a blower style fan. Keeping in mind, of course, that the inside of your case is going to be cool and well ventilated. The other option, and this is more common, is a video card, and usually it's on the mid-range to, to lower and, you know, budget kind of video cards, traditional style fans. Those fans will basically blow cool air over the heat sinks, but then once that cool air gets warmed up as it passes over the fins on the heat sink on the video card, it's warm. And that warm air, hot air, would be radiated inside of the case. However, if you have really good case ventilation, that's not going to really make a whole lot of difference. And I say if you're on a budget, you know, go with the traditional style of cooler with the fans blowing uh, air onto the coolers and then warm air inside the case. Not a big deal. If you're on a budget, you're on a budget anyway. If you go with a higher end video card, you're more than likely going to get a blower style fan regardless. So that's not really going to be an issue. Now, down from that, if you're really not into gaming, you've got passive coolers, which is basically just the heat sink, doesn't have a fan. Those can be used for like home theater PC setups, um, you know, doing basic computer work. But when you're into doing, you know, gaming and other hardcore 3D applications, of course, you're going to need an active cooler with a fan on it. I hope this answers your question, and again, if you have a question for me, head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum.